Let's take our idea of saturation with the current and look at the pinch off that can happen. Pinch off is a situation where you end up with no mobile charge carriers near the drain. We have this expression for the inversion charge coulombs per square meter in the inversion layer and it has a x dependence to it which depends on the x dependence of the channel voltage that's the voltage between the channel and the source the charge density is only going to get lower as you go from the source to the drain what it ends up being is, is it's fairly uniform through most of the channel but as you start to get close to the drain it gets a lot thinner the, the concentration goes down and it will follow this expression well, let's define the x coordinate x equals 0 at the source x equals l at the drain the inversion layer is filled up with these charges you have the oxide you have the gate metal and the gate is held at potential v sub g and the source of v sub s and the drain at v sub d which i will keep calling v sub d s for the drain source voltage both of these voltages gate and drain are referenced to the source let's um put ourselves in the channel over here by the drain and let's look at what it's like there when you arrive at saturation v sub drain v sub ds equals v sub d sat the saturation voltage inversion charge density has gotten lower and lower and when you have saturation when you, when you arrive at saturation because v d s equals v d sat the inversion charge actually reaches zero at the drain. We'll show that momentarily here when you are at VDS. So it's going to become zero. It's not zero throughout the channel. So there's always inversion charge throughout the channel, but it gets weaker and weaker. And if you have saturation voltage at the drain, then that charge becomes zero right at X equals L. Let's take a look at that at x equals L. We have the channel voltage at x equals L is the voltage at the drain. By definition, VCS at x equals L equals VDS. If you're at saturation, then VCS at x equals L equals VD sat. The expression we have been using for VD sat is this V gate source minus V threshold over alpha plus one. You know, we're not really going to talk about velocity saturation at this point. And oftentimes the body effect is just taken to be alpha plus 1 equals 1. In the simplest level of consideration, that's the expression for uh, the channel source voltage. Put that in this expression for the inversion layer charge. V gate source minus V threshold, which, which always go together, right? V gate source minus V threshold always goes together because you don't get any charge in the inversion layer until you reach threshold. But now this... VCS times alpha plus 1, let's replace VCS with this expression. Then there's still the times alpha plus 1. You look at it for it only takes a few seconds to realize you're looking at 0. Right? Everything's canceling out. So when you're at saturation, inversion layer charge density has gone to 0 at the drain end of the channel. So that's pinch off. Pinch off is the absence of channel charge over there at the drain when you reach saturation. Well, that's the only reason you would have no charge, because you're at saturation. Because V sub ds equals V sub d sat. The drain source voltage is V d sat. So that's, uh, that's pinch off, right? Okay, let's look at some qualitative sketches of these functions. So here's the inversion layer charge across the channel, or x equals L at the drain. And it, it doesn't change a whole lot through most of the channel. It gets a little smaller as you go to the right. But as you get really close to the drain, it has to drop way off. This is, you know, at saturation, the inversion charge actually goes to zero at x equals L. So this is what the inversion charge distribution looks like right at saturation. If you're at a lower drain voltage, so you're not quite saturated, then it doesn't go to zero here. It goes to something larger than zero. Let's also look at this inversion charge as a function, say, of potential throughout the channel. So I want to know for a moment if the first graph here is the inversion charge as a function of where you are in the channel. Here's the, the inversion charge concentration as a function of the potential in the channel, which by proxy is the same thing as x, right? Because v sub c s depends on x. But it, so, so when v sub c s, the channel source voltage, 
reaches is equal to v sub ds, that means you're at the drain. So like I said, this is the proxy. The origin here is the source, because at the source, the channel source voltage equals zero. You're at the source. <laughs> the, the potential between two, two places that are the same place is zero. At the drain, the channel source voltage is VDS. I, I like that word proxy. And the inversion charge uh, as a function of voltage drops off like this. Don't expect that the, the potential along the channel is necessarily linearly mapped with the location. But inversion charge is certainly you know, linear in V channel source. We've seen the expression that shows that. And it gets smaller and smaller as the V channel source gets larger and larger. And so at the drain source, it's at some value. So what's going on after here? Well, this is an attempt at answering the question of what happens as you approach saturation. If you were to graph inversion charge density versus the channel source potential, and just keep graphing it and graphing it and graphing it, it strikes the horizontal axis at VD sat. But if the drain is at a lower potential, VDS, then you never actually get there. You never have more voltage than whatever the drain voltage is. That is the maximum voltage in the system. This helps us to answer the question of what happens when the drain voltage is larger than the saturation voltage. Because there's no law that says when you've turned up the drain voltage to the point that you're in saturation, you can't keep turning it up more. So what does the charge distribution inside the channel look like when the drain voltage is larger than the saturation voltage? And so we have, again, the inversion charge density versus channel source voltage. When that channel source voltage gets to VD sat, it goes to zero. I mean, we've already demonstrated Q inversion goes to zero at that point. And so there's no charge in the channel beyond that point. So as you go all the way to the drain, uh, you have no actual charge distribution to talk about. Somewhere in the channel, it stops. So, so it kind of looks like this picture down here. If this is the channel at the source at x equals zero, you have charge. But you get to some point where the, the potential equals VD sat. And beyond that, there's no charge. It's a depleted region. It's depleted of carrier charge. So this is a large depletion region, well, possibly large depletion region, all the way from this point to the drain. It's called pinch off. So the charge inside the channel has been pinched off, and there is none in this area here. Does that mean, then, that the channel isn't conducting any current? I mean, it's got this huge region with no mobile charges resident. No, it doesn't mean you can't have current. It doesn't mean that at all. Because there's nothing that says that depletion re means low conductivity. A depletion region is not a region with high resistance. It's just a region that doesn't have any resident mobile charge. But if you apply a voltage, you can push charge through here just fine. And so there's plenty of opportunity for current to still flow through. So current still goes you know, from the drain to the source, drains at a higher potential. Electrons go to the right, current goes to the left. So that still happens. So so current goes right through the, the depleted region. You, you need to actually apply a potential to make charges go into that region. So you have to inject that current. There is a potential drop, voltage drop, across the, the region, right? You have VD source, VDS, sorry, V drain source at the end, and you have VD sat right here. When you have a potential difference, delta voltage, across a material, you're going to have current. I is V over R. And so there's going to be current, and that, that will not go to zero. All right, so uh, that, that's the, the idea of pinch-off. Some point in the channel has its potential go all the way up to the saturation potential, and you have a depletion region from there all the way to the drain, and that's your pinch-off region.